everyone, it's Mrs. Hill. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here with me today for a special holiday book titled The Holy Day After, written by the author Danielle Marietta and illustrated by Masha Klott. Today, I want to shout out four super awesome kids. Audrey, Easton, Huddy, and Wyatt. I know you guys have been so awesome this year, and I am so excited that you are listening to this story. I know you are going to love it. Let's get started. And to all a good night. They especially like it when I say that last little bit. Santa leaned in with a sparkle in his eye and he smiled. And just like that, Christmas was over. All the presents were delivered, the milk and cookies were sampled, and the sun was rising behind them. With the flick of his wrist, the bells jingled, and the reindeer sped on toward the horizon, towing the sleigh behind them. As they arrived back home, Nick leaned in for a hug. Thanks, Uncle Chris. See you in the morning. Christmas is fun, but my favorite tradition here is the holy day after. <laughs> yes, mine too, his Uncle Chris, or Santa as some call him, agreed. You were a great help as always. Get some rest and I'll see you soon. Nick hopped off the sleigh and gathered the reindeer. He walked them back to the lodge and got them into their stalls. Once each sleepy reindeer was tucked in under the hay, Nick climbed up the ladder to his family's loft, overlooking their livestock below. Night. His big brother Noel mumbled as he rolled back to sleep. Good night, his twin sisters Joy and Grace called out when they heard him climbing into bed. And to all a good night, Nick replied with a smirk. <laughs> Giggles echoed in the lodge that late Christmas night. Hush, said their father Fred. Holly Day After is almost here, and as tradition goes, we start bright and early. A calming silence fell over the lodge and all of the North Pole. As the sun arose and the fresh snow glistened, the feeling of joy filled the air. Nick, along with his brother and sisters, ran into the kitchen. Let the Holly Day Pancake Tower competition begin! The boys had won the past two years. They knew their sisters were ready and had been planning out their pancakes for months. The brothers kept their workstation clean and organized, carefully laying out their blueprints and prepping their supplies. Joy and Grace, mm, not so much. They were already flipping their first pancake. Bowls, pans, cracked eggshells, and clouds of flour floated everywhere. But the smell of tradition blossomed and the pancake creations were growing. Noel was stacking and Nick was shaping the pancakes into a giant holly day after tree. Holly berries sprinkled throughout like ornaments on a Christmas tree. But the twins, oh, the twins. They had created a full replica of the North Pole City Center. They beamed as they took a step back to see what they had done. Well, clearly they won, Noel announced. <laughs> Better luck next year, the girl snickered back. Ho, ho, ho! Merry holiday after! Voices called from the front door. The kids rushed out of the kitchen, quickly scattering their aprons onto the floor. All their family and friends had come to celebrate. 
Merry holiday after! Nick and his family all cheered back. While the younger kids played and ran everywhere, the teenagers were busy being too cool to be silly. The grown-ups were all talking in their own little world. Nick's father and uncle were flipping the family crest to see who would be Santa next year. Nick loved this time with everyone together. The rest of the year is so busy with work, but this is always one day he can count on. As they all gathered around the beautiful tables, love and smiling faces surrounded them. Pancakes covered in powdered sugar and warm maple syrup with extra chocolatey hot cocoa to wash it down. These were all part of the traditions he loved. With a full belly, Nick sat back and listened while others shared stories of favorite holiday after memories. And then it was time. One by one, they gathered their boots, coats, and hats and took the party out back. Nick and his siblings handed out tree sprouts to all. Everyone marched out to the fields behind the lodge and picked a place to plant their future holiday after tree. And while they did so, they all sang. Oh, the joy you have to give In our hearts is where you live Fill the sky with peace and love A new star shines above <laughs> Quiet hums mimicking the tune continued until every last tree was planted. This is what the day was all about. Time spent together and time giving back. Standing outside that chilly night, everyone looked out to the rolling hills of holiday after trees. Some were no bigger than Nick, but others touched the clouds. The traditions that we start today can live on forever, Uncle Chris whispered. It's up to each of us to keep them going. Sometimes we might not all be together, but when you look out over these hills, you will be reminded of those past times together. And with that, the day was done. Nick, Noel, Joy, and Grace squeezed everyone extra tight as they left. See you at school, the twins shouted to their classmates. See you in the workshop, Nick said to his friends. Uncle Chris lifted Nick up onto his shoulder. He had the same sparkle in his eye that he had the night before. While waving goodbye to their friends and family, they said in unison, and to all a good night. A perfect end to a perfect holiday after. I hope you loved that story. What traditions do you and your family have during the holiday season or maybe the day after? Also, I will link all of the information for our author, in the description box below so that you can purchase this book for your very own library at home. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season and I can't wait to see you in the next book. Bye everyone!